Welcome to Electron Line. Our next integral is a little bit different again. In this case, we have the sine square of ax and the cosine square of ax. So we're squaring the sine and the cosine. Again, we're going to need to find the appropriate identity, and the one we can probably use for this will be as follows. This is equal to the integral of 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of twice the angle, 2ax. And then this can be replaced by 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of twice the angle, 20x. And we have the, the, the dx there. Okay, so now what we can do is we can factor out the 1 halves. So this becomes equal to 1 quarter times the integral. And then we can multiply these out. So this becomes 1 minus this quantity squared, which will be the cosine square of 2ax times dx. All right, so 1 minus the cosine square, well, that can be written as the sine square. So this can be written as 1 quarter times the integral of the sine square of 2ax times dx. Now we have the sine square again, like we had over here, so we're going to use the same identity again. So now this can be written as 1 quarter times the integral. Instead of the sine square, it'll be 1 half times 1 minus twice the angle again, so 1 minus the cosine of twice the angle, which is 4ax times dx. So now we're ready to integrate this. First, we're going to bring the 1 half out. So this will be 1 8, so let's do that. This is 1 8 times the integral of 1 minus, and actually I'm going to write that as two separate integrals. So write this as the integral of dx, and then minus the integral of the cosine of 4ax times dx. I'm going to leave a little bit more room here, and you'll see in just a moment why. Because when we try to integrate the cosine of 4ax, we need the proper differential, which in this case is going to be a 4a, and of course then we also have to divide by a 4a, like this. And now we close the brackets, and we're ready to integrate. Our first integral, of course, is pretty easy. So this goes over here. When we integrate that, we simply have 1 8 times the integral of dx is going to be x, and then minus 1 over 4a times the integral of the cosine. Let's see, the, der the derivative of sine is the cosine, so the integral of the cosine is a positive sine. So this will be the, the oh, not the cosine, but the sine positive sine of 4ax, and we have a constant of integration. Then if we multiply this out, this will be equal to, let's see, x over 8 minus 1 over 32a times the sine of 4ax plus a constant of integration, and then this will be the result of the integral when both the sine and the cosine are squared, and that's how it's done.